let's get started. Close the eyes and sit in a very comfortable position. Naturally relaxed posture. Let's become aware of the spinal posture. We always try to maintain a good, tall, vertical spine. Let's pull the neck up, very gently push the tailbone down, feel that gentle elongation of the spine. Keep the head, neck and the trunk in alignment. <coughs> At this point, make any adjustments, make sure the body is naturally comfortable. You can feel the body Resting on the ground, the body feels a little bit heavy, fully supported by the ground, very relaxed. Hands resting comfortably on the knees or thighs. Shoulders and the arms hanging loose, very relaxed. Relax the neck muscles. Facial muscles, soft, gentle. <clears throat> and now begin to watch your breath as you inhale and exhale. Just watching the flow at the tip of the nose. Try to deepen the breaths now. So you try to breathe deeper breaths. You try to follow the flow from the tip of the nose all the way through to the lungs. When you inhale, just follow the flow to the nasal passage. Feel it touching the back of the throat, bronchial cavity, all the way to the lungs. Let the lungs fill to capacity at the very bottom of the lungs. When you do that, push the diaphragm down, fill the belly out. It's called the diaphragmatic breathing. When you exhale, just do the opposite. Feel the air moving out of the lungs through the bronchial cavity. Feel it touching the back of the throat. Through the nasal passage and out through the nostrils. It's a full, deep pattern of breathing. Abdominal breathing. Deepen the awareness of the whole breathing cycle. Visualize the lungs filling to capacity. When you inhale, lungs emptying out when you exhale. The next exhalation, bring the breathing back to your regular rhythm again. Okay, just focusing on the tip of the nose for another moment or so. And now we'll recite OM three times. Take a deep breath in. Om.
eyes. Open the eyes. <clears throat> it will be eye exercise. Keep the head in the center, spine up, and we'll do this figure eight movement. We've done this a few times now. So figure eight is with the straight line movements, not curved movements. So let's start by looking at the top left corner of the eyes. Move the eyes vertically down to the bottom left. And then across and up to the top right and then down to the bottom right and again straight line across and up back to the top left corner. So this is the figure eight movement. Continue in this manner. Remember these are straight line movements. Smooth continuous movements. But to Exercise the eye muscles. We'll pause very briefly at the, each of the four corners and try to stretch the eyes there. Movement is smooth. Brief pause at each of the four corners. Eyes reach the top left corner again. Pause there briefly. Move the eyes to the center now. Briefly look at the tip of the nose. Let's shift the gaze up. Look at the spot between the two eyebrows. It's called the Agnya Chakra. Third eye, as we call it. Bring the eyes back to the center. Close the eyes and rub the palms. Make a cup over the eyes. Shake up the eye between the eyebrows. Light massage around the eyes, forehead, sides, gentle massage on the cheeks. Open the eyes softly. And namaste and welcome everyone to our Tuesday evening class. And as always, I like to ask if there's anybody joining for the first time. Anyone? First timer? Okay. So uh, today we'll just go through our regular routine, but we'll just kind of uh, feel, you know, we become aware of those asanas which involve a little more of the twisting movement. So a little extra focus, not too much, but maybe a little extra focus on the twisting movements. Twisting movements in general, as we know, and we know many of these twisting movements, seated twists, standing twists, and even the reclining twists. Uh, but anytime we do a twisting movement, we know that it is really helpful for the spine and the abdominal area, predominantly, right? So those are the two areas that, that we feel the effect of the twisting movements. And, you know, 
whether it's true or not, some people give the example, you know, that, uh, you know, when you have to, uh, when, when, there's, when there's a piece of cloth which is dirty, you dip it in water and then wring it to get the dirt out, okay? So, so some explanation that I've seen is that the, the, the twisting is somewhat similar, you know, when you twist the body, you almost are wringing it and so that the, <clears throat> all the toxins and all the negative stuff gets out of the system. That's just one way of looking at it. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. I've seen it mentioned somewhere. And, uh, but of course we know that it is really great for the spine and uh, also for the internal organs, the liver, pancreas and all that. So their, their function is definitely improved. That, that's you know, classically mentioned in many texts. Okay, let's get ready. In the Marjarasana, the hands and the shoulder, knees over the hips, head up, tailbone up, dip the navel down, and as you exhale, round the spine. Try to lift the navel up, roll the chin down. A couple more breaths like that. This next cycle, complete the exhalation. Bring the spine to the neutral position briefly and then sit back up on the heels as we get ready for the practice of Kapalabhati. <clears throat> okay, so we'll keep the speed at 80 breaths per minute. Do that for a while now. Eight zero, and then We'll do same about 80, 90 breaths and then apply the three bandhas. Anybody who is not familiar with the bandhas, I'm assuming everyone is by now. Okay, let's do that. Final sequence now, full inhale and forceful exhalation, complete exhalation, and then apply the Maha Bandha.
sit down comfortable for a moment. Let's start with a very, very gentle uh, twist here. Right in this cross leg position, place the right hand on the outside of the knee, wrap the left arm behind, and we're going to pull the knee with the hand inward, and then push the left shoulder away, roll it backwards, and then stay there for about three or four, five breaths. So the, your, the hand is not lifting up, don't lift it up, keep it down, but pull it in, okay, without lifting it up. Pull the knee in and roll the shoulder back. It's a gentle, twisting experience. Look over the left shoulder as we always do. And then as you exhale, come back up. Pause briefly. To the other side, just turn the left hand on the outside of the knee, right hand will wrap behind you. Do not lift the knee up, that's important. Keep the knee down and then pull it in. Roll the shoulder back. Look over the right shoulder. Gentle twist. Keep breathing here. Don't hold the breath. Next exhalation, come back. Relax. Okay, let's come to a standing position. Surya Namaskar. Feet together. Exhale. Palms together. Inhale, arms in front first, then raise the arms up. You try and pull the hands up and then look up while you try and push the arms back behind the ears. Exhale, bending forward now. Arms in front, against the ears initially. In the last moment, drop the hands. Get the hands close to the toes. Bend the knees, palms down, left foot back. Place the left knee down, lift the head up, chest up, buttocks down. As you exhale, right foot back, downward, facing dog. Adho Mukhishwana Swanasana. Buttocks are lifted up here and you're looking at the feet and also trying to push the heels down away. Bring the knees, chest and the chin down into the Ashtanga Mudra. Release the abdomen, head up, chest up. Bring the hands behind the back this time, interlock the fingers. Pull the hands back and away, then lift the hands up to the ceiling, and now lift the chest up and the legs up. Roll the shoulders back, lift the hands up, chest up, legs up. Bring the legs down, palms on the next to the chest and go back to the downward facing dog. And up, left foot forward. Up between the palms. Right knee down, chest up. <clears throat> right foot forward. This time we're going to stretch the legs very straight, if possible. As always, if your hamstrings are tight and when you keep the legs straight, the, the, you bother your hamstrings, then you can bend the knees slightly. Drop the chest down. Stretch the arms all the way out in front and slowly raise the arms up. Pull up. Push the arms back. Look up. 
and then straighten up. Exhale and release now. Last for a moment. Before we do the second round, we'll do very gentle standing twist here. So spread the feet slightly apart now, six inches, eight inches. Okay, we're going to place the right hand behind the left shoulder, wrap the, wrap the left arm behind you. And then kind of pull the shoulder away. Look at the, at the feet behind you. See if you can look at the heels. Over the shoulder and down at the heels. Beyond the heels if you can. Keep breathing here. Feet don't move. Feet are firmly planted into the ground. All you're doing is twisting the body, keeping the legs straight, keep the torso straight. Try not to bend the body in any way. Very straight legs, straight torso. And then roll the body, the shoulder back. And as you exhale, come back. Release now, relax. Make sure the feet don't move. The other side, left hand on the back of the shoulder, wrap the right arm behind, and then turn the body, rotate, twist it. Look down at the heels, look beyond the heels. See if you can look beyond the, or past the left heel. Keep breathing. Make sure the legs are straight, feet are very firm. Don't move the feet. Torso is straight too. And then come back as you exhale. And relax for a moment. Like I said, we will try to engage the, the twisting moves in a couple of different places here. Okay, feet together. Exhale, palms together. Next round. Arms up to the side this time as you inhale. Arms up. Pull up. Push the arms back. Press the feet firmly to the ground. Straight legs. Push the thighs forward. Arms up and back. And then as you exhale, bend forward. Finally, drop the hand and bring the hands behind the back. Interlock the fingers, pull the hands up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, see if you can drop the chest down. Shoulders are rolled back. Inhaling, hands up toward the ceiling. Exhaling, dropping the chest down. Let's release the hands, palms down. Right foot back. Just do a triangle pose today, straight triangle. Okay, so both the legs are straight, right, left foot is straight out in line with the, back, the edge of the mat. Okay, right leg is straight also. So keep the left hand down, push the buttocks away from you on the right side. Okay, and then raise the right arm up, keep it vertical. All right, like I said, I have, I cannot raise it vertical, I will wrap it around, and then you'll slide the left hand down, look over the right shoulder. And roll that shoulder backwards so you don't bend forward. It's called the Trikona Asana. And then as you release, place the front, slide the hands down. This is the Pashwatthana Asana. You can keep the hands on your leg. If they don't reach the floor, that's fine. But keep the leg straight and drop the chest on top of the thigh. To engage the twisting movement, we will do the revolving triangle. Now, we've done this before. In this one, the right hand will go on the outside. Now, you may want to use a block. That might help. If you have a block handy, if the hand does not reach the floor, okay, if it doesn't get here, so use the block. That will give you a little more support and, and then keep the leg straight. And then you raise the left arm up all the way, completely vertical, okay? This is the revolving triangle. Nice twisting experience. 
to the knees, arms down, back to back, downward facing dog. Pushing the heels down, pushing the thighs backwards away. Buttocks up. Knees down. Buttocks all the way back this time. Child. Balasana. Put on the heels, forehead down. Walk your hands in front for a moment. Keeping your hands where they are. Smoothly slide forward into the cobra. This is the Bhujangasana. The chest is up, but the navel is still on the floor. Shoulders roll back. Head up. Navel down. Cobra. Go back to me. Downward facing dog. Head up, right foot forward, all the way up, between the palms. Okay, we'll go for the triangle pose, both straight triangle and the revolving triangle. Legs are straight, remember? Left leg, right, left leg, right leg, both straight. Foot pointing straight out. Okay, push the buttocks to the left side. Place the hand on your right thigh, lift, lift the left arm up vertical, slide the hand down. Roll the left shoulder backwards. Look up. Trikonasana. Again, feel free to use a, a block if you need to. That will help you keep the legs straight and also get a nice twisting experience. Rolling the left shoulder further back. Okay? See if that helps you. And then release. Face the front. Vashvottanasana. Remember in this one, the leg is still straight. And again, if you cannot reach the toes, you should have a second block also. I don't have it handy, but that's what you will place the other block here and use that block for your support. Chest on top of the thigh. And then again, the revolving triangle. This time the left hand on the outside. Again, if the hand does not reach the floor, keep the leg straight. The key is to keep the leg straight and then bring to the, the floor. Otherwise, use a block. That's fine too. Raise the right arm up overhead, all the way up, uh, vertical. Okay, I'm going to wrap it around. Look over the right shoulder. Beautiful twisting experience. And release. Arms down, left foot forward. Legs are straight. Uttanasana, bend over. The head up, swing the arm over the side this time, and then as you inhale, easy, slow. Up and back. Look up, push the arms back. And then as you exhale, straighten up, and then release the arms down. Relax now. Okay, let's bring feet together. Exhale, palms together. Inhale, arms in front, raise the arms up, pull up, pull the arms up first, then push them back. And as you exhale, bend over. Forward bend, Uttanasana. Drop the chest if you can. We're going to bend the knees here and then place the left elbow on the outside of the knee, left elbow. We're going to join the hands together. Twisting. Raise the right arm, right elbow up. 
pressing on from the el from the outside with the elbow. Okay. And while you maintain this position, see if you can bring the left leg all the way back, still maintaining that twisting position. With the, the knee is bent, and your right left leg is straight behind you. You're looking over the right shoulder, twisting. And if you feel comfortable, keep the elbow on the outside and then bring the left hand on the floor. Right arm goes up vertical. In my case, I'll wrap it around. Look over the right shoulder. Again, a beautiful twisting experience. Release. Come back. Palms down. Right foot back. Plank position. Straight line body, heels, buttocks, and shoulders in one line. Knees down, chest down, chin down. Release the abdomen. Head up, chest up. Elbow straight. We'll keep the knees down for now, but the shoulders are rolled back. Legs are straight behind you, elbow straight. Okay, we'll do the twisting stretch here. So look over the left shoulder, press both the thighs very firmly to the ground. Look over the shoulder and see if you can look beyond, beyond the two heels. Looking over the left shoulder, see if you can look beyond the right heel. Make sure your thighs are pressing down, both the thighs. Try not to lift your thighs off the ground. Again, a nice twist. As you press the thighs down, and look over that shoulder. Keep breathing. And come back to the center now. Engaging the twisting moves. And then let's do the other side. Twist. Make sure the thighs are pressing down. Don't lift the thighs up. Knees are down, thighs are down. Press the thighs firmly and then look over that shoulder. Twist the body as much as you can. Look at the heels and beyond, behind the heels if you can, beyond the heels. And go back to the center. Let's push again, go to the downward facing dog. Press the heels down, but it's lifted up. Okay, so if you just want to watch one second, you can look up. What I'm going to do is to raise my right hand, bring the right hand on the outside of the left thigh. On the outside of the left thigh, okay? And then keep it on the outside and slide the hand down the leg, closer and closer to the outside of the left heel. Slide it down, as close to the foot as possible. But maintain it on the outside to create that twisting stretch here. The hand is on the outside of the leg. Bring it very close to the heel. Let's come back. Bring the hand down. Downward facing dog. Repeat it on the other side. Left hand up. Place it on the outside of the right thigh. And then slide it down. Keep the leg straight. Keep it on the outside. Get it closer and closer to the heel, but keep it outside the leg, not on the inside. And come back. Back to the down dog. Lift the head up. And the left foot forward. Again, a twisting stretch. So keep the right leg straight. You're going to drop the chest down. Right elbow on the outside. Join the palms. Lift the elbow up. Pressure with the elbow from outside will give you a nice twisting experience. Again, if comfortable, you can drop the hand down. Raise the left arm up vertical. Twisting. Release, 
in the palms together. While you're still in this position, bring the right foot forward. Keep the knees bent. Keep it twisting, going. Look over the left shoulder. And then slowly release. Step the leg straight. Arms in front. Raise the arms up. Pull up and push back. And as you exhale, straightening up. And then release the arms. Down. Relax now. Take a few easy breaths now. Like I said, some people claim that twisting will detoxify the system. But it really works on the internal organs and the spine. We know that. It's already the case. Beautiful. Subhash. Yes. Uh, the twisting, is you, what you're saying is absolutely true. You know? When we twist, I'm, I'm shout of breath because I did all this. When we twist, we are basically squeezing all the blood vessels uh -huh. and different organs in the extremities, the abdomen, and the thigh everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then after a few seconds of holding it, you are releasing it. When that happens, the rushing of the blood clears up through the sweat, kidneys, breath, in all different forms. Wow. <laughs> also, when you twist the abdomen, you're releasing some of the gas, you don't need it inside. Mm -hmm. Either upside or downside, it comes out, right? So you're right, you know, when we were detoxifying ourselves. Oh, wow. <laughs> See, <just a> <laughs> That's very nice of you, Sekhan. You know, I'm so glad that you are here to confirm all this. <laughs> yes, yeah, sure, thank you. You know, we appreciate that, you know, this is coming from a pulmonologist, you know, he, he, he knows all that stuff, so, you know. I just read somewhere that it detoxifies, I wasn't sure how it does it, but this is great explanation, thank you. <laughs> sure. Okay. Let's do our standing leg, leg stretch, but involve a little bit of the twisting again in this one also. So this one, again, uh, you may need the strap. If you don't need the strap, you don't have to use it. Some of you will need the strap. Okay. Again, we'll use the, the hand for support. That will help you keep the position going. If you, if you don't use the the support for the wall, then you might lose your balance. This is this is more not just balance, but this is more for stretching and twisting. Okay. So with the right hand, place the strap in the left foot, not the right. Normally we do the right. But this is to create the twist now. So place the foot in the left foot. Okay, strap in the left foot. And then lift the foot up. And then roll the left shoulder back now. This is what is going to create a nice twist now. The left shoulder is rolled back. But the left leg is lifted up. Look over the left shoulder. Again, a beautiful twisting experience you can feel. It's a beautiful hip stretch also. I am feeling a nice hip stretch. Twisting at the spine and the abdominal area. And then slowly release in the back. Make sure you're not sideways. I forgot to mention this is not sideways. You're actually with the back against the wall. That's how you'll get a twisting experience. Okay. So this time we the left hand is holding the strap, but the, the foot is the right foot. You can make sure that's the opposite side. That's how you'll get the twist. Like I said, if you don't need the strap, that's fine. You just grab the foot with the hand. Lift the foot up as high as it goes, but roll the right shoulder back, all the way back. Keep that right shoulder roll back. Keep the, left leg, the right leg straight and lift it up high. Again, creating a nice twisting and like I said, it's a beautiful hip stretch also. All right, release. Like Sacred said, you know, when you hold the pose and release after that, 
mentally visualize there is a gush of blood going out and cleansing the whole body. Beautiful imagery. <laughs> okay. Let's lie down on your abdomen. Relax. Spread the feet apart, almost give it to the mat. Toes pointing away, one cheek on the side. Relax for a moment. Dhanurasana, four pose, forehead down, bend the knees, hold the ankles. Head up, chest up. Use the feet. Feet are trying to push the hands back and away from you. That should help you lift the knees up. Come down, but keep holding up the ankles. Rest with the other cheek down. Two or three breaths here. Okay, this time, second time. Feet together, knees close to each other. And then lift up, head up, chest up. Same sequence. Move the feet. Push the hands backwards. And again, release. Let go now. Raise the legs and rest for a moment. Just roll over onto the back, lie down on the back for a moment. Just relax. A few four breaths here. Let's bring the feet together. Bring the arms back overhead. Bring them overhead. Stretch the arms backwards away from you. Toes pointing away. Good stretch. And as you exhale, sit up now. And then turn around. Relax. Whatever cleansing or detoxification these twisting stretches do, in my own experience, I just feel good after these twisting stretches. I don't know. It gives a, a uh, uh, just a feeling of well-being. I don't know. Anybody feel that? I don't know. It just feels good. Okay. Let's, we'll do our standard wide-legged twisting stretch. We do it all the time. Stretch the legs apart. All right. Just two rounds. Inhale, arms out horizontal. Pause. Exhale. Turn the body to your left. 
in the right hand, all the way in front, left hand can go back behind you, you can either put it on the floor or wrap it behind your back, see what feels more comfortable. And then drop the chest right on top of the thigh. Pause. Inhale, go back to the center. Pause. Exhale, do the other side. Legs are straight and wide apart. And then try to drop the chest down. Let's go back to the center as you inhale. Exhale to the left. This time we're going to spend a couple of breaths here. So keep breathing. All right. So keep breathing right in this position. Try to deepen the stretch. With every exhalation, you can attempt to drop the chest a little more. And you can feel a twist because we are wrapping the left arm behind you. Roll that shoulder back, just like a, like a twisting stretch. Keep breathing. And the next inhalation, come back up, back to the center. And with the exhalation, go the other way, and then keep breathing. Don't hold the breath. Chest on top of the thigh. You can wrap the arm around to give a little deeper twist. Roll the shoulder back, and then see if you can drop the chest down. Nice deep forward bending stretch. Nice deep twisting experience. Slowly come back as you inhale, next release, feet together, or oh, you do the Paschimottanasana. Again, feet together, legs straight, raise the arms up, pull up. And as you exhale, bend forward. So the spine is elongated. You're trying to keep the spine tall, elongated. You feel that elongation in the inhale. You can kind of move the chin forward and then drop the chest when you exhale. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, release now. And relax now. Just lie down on the back. Rest on the back for a moment. We work on the reclining twist here. So feet together. Press the arms out to the sides on a T. Let's start with the right leg. We'll place the right foot, the sole of the right foot on the left knee, okay? So the sole of the foot flat on the knee. Lift the left arm up. Left hand should place should be placed on the top of the right knee. You look over the right shoulder and then roll the hip over. Okay, and then bring the knee, the right knee, closer to the floor on the left side. Keep breathing and then don't lift the shoulder up. The right shoulder should be very firmly on the ground. And then roll the hip over, right hip. And then bring the knee closer to the floor. Keep breathing.
great stretch, great twisting stretch for the hips, for the abdominal area, spine, shoulders. One of the most recommended stretches to release any kind of tightness, pain from the lower back. And then slowly we'll come back to the center. Pause and we'll switch sides now. Okay, this time the right hand will go on the left knee. The sole of the left foot is on the right knee, flat. Okay, and then roll the hip over. The left hip, when you can roll over, make sure the left shoulder does not lift off the floor. And you try to bring the knee closer to the floor on the right side of the body. Slowly come back. Fall. Bend both the knees. Keep the knees bent and rest there with the knees bent for a moment. Okay, now we'll do a similar move, but this time. Both the knees are bent, not just one knee, and lift both the feet up. Bring the knees closer to the chest now. The knees are together this time, okay? Same movement. The right arm is stretched out in line with the shoulders. Place the left hand on the top of the right knee. Make sure the knees are completely glued to each other. And then roll the hip over. Bring the knees closer to the floor. Do not separate the knees. Right shoulder remains on the floor. Make sure it doesn't come up. The knees are together and very close to the chest. And then try to bring them closer to the floor. And this time, we'll keep the knees where they are, but stretch the legs straight now. Wherever they are, stretch it all the way out to the side. You still sideways and twisting. That is a straight now. And then fold the legs back. Keep the knees together. Don't separate them. And then lift them up. Come back to the center. Pause. Keep the knees close to the chest. Try the other side. Now you can place the right hand on top of the left knee. Like I mentioned before, make sure the knees are together, glued to each other, almost, okay? And then bring the knees closer and closer to the floor on the right side. Look over the left shoulder. Knees are very close to the chest. They are glued to each other. Left shoulder remains on the floor. Keep breathing. Now slowly stretch the legs straight. Keep the knees where they are. Don't shift the knee position of the knees. Just stretch the legs straight. You can feel a slight difference in the stretch when you stretch the legs straight. And fold the knees back again. Keep them together. Very close to the chest. And then slowly come back to the center. Pause. Enhancing our twisting experiences today. Wrap the arms around the knees. Hug the knees to your chest. Stay there for a moment. Head on the floor.
We just roll the body side to side. Come back to the center, just pause briefly. Rock the body up and down. And come back up to the sitting position now. Relax. Try this pose now. Last time you were there, Manasa reminded me that we should do the Bharat Gwaj Asana. Is Manasa there? Manasa, you're around? I'm not sure. I saw that. Yes, Vash. Okay. So you reminded me about the Bharat Gwaj Asana. So let's try that pose. It's a nice, twisting pose. And to do that, we start in the Vajrasana. <clears throat> okay. Yes. I find it easy to start like this. Okay, so we're going to stretch the right leg out in front, fold it, and now you're going to rest both the buttocks on the floor. Okay, you're not on the heels at all. Then fold the knee, place the foot on top of the thigh, all the way back. Okay. So this is where you create a twist now. Rest both the buttocks on the ground. And then bring the, the foot all the way back. And this is where you will have to bend a little bit forward, wrap the arm around the back, right arm. This is the right arm. My right foot is on top of the thigh, right arm wrapped around the back. And then try to grab the big toe from the other side. Now, this may not work for everyone. That's okay. If you cannot hold the big toe, that's fine. But just make an effort to go as far as you can. Okay? Place the left hand on the knee, on the outside of the knee. Same thing. Pull the knee in, roll the right shoulder back. Again, keep the torso nice and tall. Try not to lean the body sideways. So this is called the Bharadvaj Asana. Right shoulder roll back. Right hand is wrapped around. You're trying to grab the big toe. Like I said, that may not work for, for everyone, but that's okay. Just give it a try. Release, come back, okay. release the pose, go back to me. Vajrasana for a moment. Pause briefly and then do the other side. So you bring the left, out, left leg out, roll the hip to the floor and then place the foot on the top of the thigh. Make sure both the buttocks are on the, on the ground, not on the heel. Again, bring the foot as far back as possible. Then you have to bend forward slightly so you can wrap the arm around and grab the other big toe now. Again, same thing. If it doesn't work, that's fine. Just wrap the arm around. And then wrap, place the left, right hand on the outside of the knee. Pull the knee in. Roll the left shoulder back. It's a very beautiful twisting stretch. Slowly release, come back to the center, sit comfortable cross leg now, or any position that you're comfortable in, so remember, 
this is for a brief moment of reflection. So remember, we focused on these twisting movements today. Some of them probably new, but most of them we have done before, but we just kind of put them all together today. Like we heard, you know, Sekran mentioned that this is very helpful in getting rid of extra pockets of air from the body, improve blood circulation, and most importantly, hopefully getting rid of the toxins, purifying the body. And then giving all the benefits of these beautiful twisting stretches to the spine, the nervous system, abdominal area, all the organs there, the liver, the pancreas, and all that. So very, very effective, beautiful movements. hands behind the back, softly hold the right wrist, and as you exhale, bend forward now. Stay in the final position for a few breaths. Nice and easy move, smooth, come back up. I will release. Ready for yoga nidra, so lie down on your back. As always, before we relax, we take the body the sequence to tense up the body, tighten the muscles. So let's come up into the half boat. As always, this half boat is optional. If it doesn't work, if you cannot maintain this position, you can bring the feet down or the head down. But just go through the sequence to tighten the muscles in the body. Legs straight. All the straight out in front. Spread the fingers wide and tight. Make a fist with the hands and the toes. Curl the toes tight. Open palms, point the toes back towards you. Once again, fist with the hands and toes, open palms, toes back, heels away. One more time, fists, open palms. And now relax the feet, but make the fist again with the hands, this time rotate the wrists around. Pause. Other direction. Pause. Keep the elbow straight. And we work on the facial muscles. Open the mouth. Extend the tongue out. Curl the tongue down toward the chin. Eyes are open. Wide. Tighten the facial and the neck muscles. Keep the fists tight, pull the hands away from you, squeeze the buttocks tight, thighs, knees and the kneecaps, ankles, point the toes away. One final squeeze, every muscle, real tight, squeeze and let go. Loosen up. Allow the body to find a position that's natural, very comfortable. And spread your feet apart, almost the rest of the mat. Palms preferably face up to the ceiling. Head in the center with the eyes closed. Natural, comfortable, Relaxed asana called the Shavasana. No effort. Maintaining the pose in perfect stillness while we go through this sequence to relax the body now. We begin by 
relaxing every muscle one at a time. Let's start with the toes. Relax the soles of the feet, heels, ankles, calf muscles, shins, knees and kneecaps, thighs. pelvic area, all the abdominal muscles, let's visualize and relax the internal organs of the body, heart, lungs, the kidneys and the liver, relax the rib cage, chest, <coughs> Shoulder blades, collarbones, shift your awareness to the hands, relax the fingers, palms, wrists, forearms. Elbows, upper arms, shoulders, relax the buttocks, full length of the spine, all the muscles in the back. Lower back, middle back, upper back, neck muscles, and all the facial muscles, cheeks, chin, lips. Jaws, tongue and teeth, nose, eyes and eyebrows, forehead, top and back of the head. Every muscle, every limb in the body at this point feels very comfortable, very loose and relaxed. Try to become aware of all the points of contact between the body and the floor. Allow the body to gently sink into the floor and let its own that subtle sensation of heaviness. Feel that heaviness of the body. The body also feels fully supported by the ground. It's in a state of deep relaxation. Do this moment to set an intention, a sankalpa which is to make a positive affirmation about a change that you may want to bring about in life. Make that affirmation and repeat it three times in the mind. For the next few moments, we'll just try to enjoy this very restful and peaceful states of the body and the mind.
bring your awareness back to your breathing and begin to breathe slightly deeper breaths now. And just try to become aware of your rhythm of breathing, pattern of breathing. Slowly begin to stretch the fingers, curl the toes, hands and feet, arms and legs. <coughs> stretch the arms all the way back just to get a good stretch. Kind of waking up the body. And slowly roll to one side now for a moment. Get back up to a sitting position now. Okay, as always, we start with another round of Kapal of Hati. Again. Applying the three bandhas at the end of the sequence. Remember, at the end of the sequence, when you do the bandhas, when you release the bandhas, the inhalation should be from the right side. So I have no way of looking at that. You make sure that you inhale from the right side, but the final exhalation should be from the left side. Okay. Okay. Let's do one more round. Final sequence now, again, forceful and complete exhalation. Then apply the three bandhas while you're holding the breath. Natural relax best now. Ujjayi pranayama next. Comfortable, any position. So just again a very quick review of the Ujjayi pranayama. We have, these are three part breath. Three part means when you inhale, you start by filling the belly out, then expand the chest. Then lift the collar bones and the upper chest up. Let's inhale. Exhale is just the opposite. Lower the collar bones, soften the chest, suck the belly in. Let's exhale. Three part breath. Ujjayi, deep breath. This is what we do in all 
pattern that involves deep breath, three part. But in the Ujjayi Pranayama, we inhale through both the nostrils. Remember, inhale is through both the nostrils, but at the end of inhalation, hold the breath. Apply the two locks, chin lock, root lock. Okay, so this is after you inhale and hold the breath. When you want to exhale, lift the two locks, okay? Release the Mula Bandha, release the Chalana Bandha. Hold the right thumb against the right nostril, exhale from the left side, three part, okay? Let's just do a few Ujjayi Pranayama breaths. And as, as always, for all the deep breathing practices, try to build up that ratio of one to two between inhale, inhale and exhale. So exhalation, try and make it twice as long. Keep a count. That will help you. Make an assessment. Okay? Maintain a count in your mind. O one, O two, etc. Finish the, finish the next cycle, take your time, finish the final exhalation from the left side and then release the hands, natural breathing, few breaths. <coughs> Finally, go for our Nadi Shuddhi practice, alternate nostril breathing. Vishnu Mudra, right hand, Chin Mudra, left hand, okay? And as always, feel free if you're comfortable, apply the two locks, the Chin Lock and the Root Lock after each inhalation, okay? That's our guideline for Nadi Shuddhi practice, alternate breathing. Okay? One to two ratio remains the same constant factor between inhale and exhale, so keep a count and try to build your exhalation twice as long. Three part breaths, all, as always, all deep breaths, three part. Full, deep, soft, ujjayi breaths. Go ahead and get started. When are you ready?
for this next round. Take your time. Final exhalation is from the left side. At the end of that final sequence, release the hands, continue with your natural rhythm of breathing. Nadi Shuddhi, literally meaning the purification of the nervous system. 72,000 nerves in the body, that's according to some of the ancient yoga texts. 72,000 nerves. These are all psychic, subtle nerves of channels of energy. This Nadi Shuddhi is supposed to purify entire nervous system. So we'll just do our two minutes of meditation today. So keep the eyes closed, spine upright, shoulders nice and loose, relaxed, hands resting comfortably wherever they are positioned. Very relaxed body. Let's inhale for Om. Once. Once again, bring your awareness back to your breath, focusing at the tip of the nose, just observe the flow there for a moment. Join the palms together in the prayer position. This is for our Shanti Mantra. Inhale. Om Asatoma Sagamaya Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya Mrityoma Amritangamaya Om Shanti Shanti 
शांति Please believe me from unreal to the real, darkness to light, from the fear of death leave me to the knowledge of immortality. Peace, peace, peace. Make the arms up for Guru Pranam. As you exhale, bend forward. Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha. I bow down with respect to all my teachers, all my gurus. And the supreme teacher of them all. And as you inhale, slowly come back up. And I thank you all very much. Namaste. Have a great evening. Thank you, Subhash Ji. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Subhash Ji. Thank you, Subhash Ji. Thank you, Subhash. It's a great day. It's a good squeeze. <laughs> it squeezed half the life out of me. Thank you. <laughs> very good. Excellent. Turn your videos on so I can see your face. If you thank you, Subhash Ji. All right, shaker. Very good. All right, Manasa, did you get the uh, the video, the twisting stretch? <laughs> yes, Subashi, I got it. But uh, yeah, that's very. I felt like it was a good stretch for the abdomen. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a good. Stretch. Thank you, Subashi. Thank you, Subash. Okay, thank you, thank you, Karen. All right. Shake. All right. All right. I'm going to end the session. All right.